come in, y'all already know what to do. Make sure y'all hit that like button. All right, let's get to it. Let's do a mic check right quick. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Let's do a mic check. Yep, okay, y'all can hear me? Cool, cool. Alright y'all, we finna get right to it, just give me a hot second. Alright, what's up Alexandra, what's up Sticks, underscore 2XX, that dude 73, Day Crook, Jose Diaz, Masik Miami, Ministry of the Word, what's up, Kendall Kitchen, what's up, Baby Goddess, what's up. What's that destined for greatness? What's going on? Larice, Larissa Clarkson, what's up? Lisa Hips, what's going on? FZ6, what's up? Neil Muhammad, what's up? All right, Allen, what's going on? All right, y'all. Um, I told y'all that I'm going to try to go live every day at 8 p.m. All right. Um. I just got a crate. Well, I just dropped a video earlier. What's up, Irie? What's up, James? I dropped a crazy video earlier. And it got me thinking about this dude that I knew. For the people out there that... Hold on, man. For the people out there that think that 16-year-olds can't and will not Go to a adult prison, you out of your mind. 16 year olds can and will go to prison, to adult prison. I'm going to tell y'all something. A lot of these kids got misplaced anger. A lot of these kids got daddy issues and mommy issues. <sighs> Yeah, um, yeah, so this video that I'm dropping on Thursday, it's going to be real crazy, y'all. It's going to be real crazy. I will be going live tomorrow also at 8 p.m. Eastern time. I'm going live for the rest of this month. That's my gift to y'all, all right? So... This kid, I remember coming in there, young white boy, after being about 16 years old. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be real with y'all. There's a lot of guys that's locked up in prison that get down that way. A lot of these dudes, I heard the term before. And the crazy thing, you hear all these jail terms when you get out. Right? You never hear these jail terms while you locked up. It's called gay for stay. Right? These these jail dudes, they figure, well, I'm locked up. Um, uh, don't nobody really know me in the streets. So I'm gonna do what I do. And I'm just serve my time, do what I do, and get up out here and get back in the real world. Before we even go on with this shenanigans, y'all already know that I got a big mouth. So I'm too loud out here now. I'm a known YouTuber now. So before before anybody start coming out here with all the BS and want to play these military mind games, y'all already know it ain't no exposing Dante. I went in there, I did what I did, and I got out, right? I didn't play them type of games up in there. By now, somebody would have made a video saying, oh, Dante was doing this and Dante doing that. Every video that somebody made about me only talked about me being who I was up in there. And that was keeping it real and basically staying to myself. And if I had to get involved with some shenanigans, then hey, 
that's just what that was. Outside of that, you're not going to see no videos being made out, made about me unless it's somebody that's straight up lying and trolling. Now, let's get to it. You get it where you got these cats that's locked up and they be talking about gay for stay because they feel like ain't nobody going to figure out what they did while they was locked up. I remember when I stayed in Pontiac, Michigan, right? They had this, this um, I, I want to say halfway house for pedophiles when they got, I guess it was a halfway house when they got released. It, some type of housing where they did their time and for the rest of their stay, they had to, um, they ended up getting in the community, but I don't know. They, I don't know what it was. I just know it was a house that they was in, and um, they spend the rest of their time there for like a year or six months, whatever the case may be. And I remember seeing one of these cats. You would never know what these dudes went in jail for. So one of my homeboys got into it with one of these dudes. So this dude, I, I don't even, I can't remember this name. I think dude name was Randy or Randolph, or some, 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 Randy or Randolph, something like that. He, he would walk around there with his shirt off. He was a big dude. He was like, I don't know, maybe about 6'3", six, 6'4", six, and, you know, he, he had a chest on him, and he used to walk around, like, in that little area right there with his chest off, like, flexing and, like, barking on dudes, and, I never, I, I didn't really pay attention to that because, you know, I'm driving. But one of my homeboys called me and was like, hey, hey, D, hey, D, meet me over here, so and so, so, -and -so man. Grab the you know what, grab the you know what, man. Hey, man, these, these thinking it's a game. They think it's a game. I'm like, I'm like, what's going on? He's like, man, D, just come around here. Now, this is back in my old days, y'all. I was kind of, you know, always drama filled. I didn't have kids and all this and that. So, but I wasn't finna go crash out. I just went, I just, you know, the homie called me. So I went around the corner and see what was going on. So I guess around there and he arguing with the dude and I'm looking at the dude like, man, this dude look familiar. So I hop off the car and I was pump faking. You know, I had my hoodie on and I had my arm in my hoodie. So I'm like, yo, what's up? What's up? And dude like kind of backed up like, man, man, bro, who, who was you? Who is you? You ain't got nothing to do with this, man. You can roll out. So I'm like, I ain't rolling out of nowhere. So I'm pump faking, y'all. I got the, I got my hand in my, in my hoodie, like I got that, you know what? So I'm like, what's up? So my, my homeboy like, yeah, this dude trying to disrespect me. He sent up there whistling at my girl and this and that. These up in here, they ain't nothing but pedophiles. And this dude probably a child molester and all this type of stuff. And I'm, I'm like, it's registered. I'm like, hold on, this, this, um. I forgot his name, y'all. Hey, I'm going to tell y'all right now. If 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 I'm giving a story about a pedophile or I'm giving um, a story about a dude that violate women, oh, I'm putting their name out. I'm putting their name out. I just can't think of dude's name, man. He, I know he was at the halfway house in Pontiac, and his name was either Robert or Randolph. Light-skinned dude with a bald head. And this is this was his, this was his this is what his get down was. So after we cleared the altercation up, now um we know it got settled. Me and my homeboy jumped in the car and we dipped. As I started thinking about it, I said, that's dude from the special unit. My homeboy, when I was locked up, dude, this Mexican dude named Diaz. Oh, shout out to Jose Diaz in the building, y'all. It ain't the same Diaz, but it was one of my Mexican homeboys. He told me like, "Yeah, man." He was like, "He, he was like, when I got in there and they said he was like, yeah, man. I hate them creeps, man. I hate them creeps, Holmes. I hate them creeps.'" I'm like, "What are you talking about?" He said, "Them cats on the special unit, man. I sometimes just want to get over there, man. I want to get over there and do something bad to one of them creeps over there, man. There's a guy over there that hurt my sister, and I told him that I need to get off this compound. I need to get off this compound because if I ever catch him, wherever I catch him, I'm gonna do that to him. I'm doing that to him, and I'm like, okay, okay. So I remember seeing dude that light bright. Hold on." Let me turn that light down. My fault, y'all. Let me turn the light down.
It's that better. So he talking about so he so dude just so he talking about man I, I just don't like dude man I'm, I'm gonna do that to him. So I remember, but this is a, the this ain't the same guy though. This ain't the same guy. Um, that touched his sister. He just know Randolph or um Randolph or Randy, whatever his name is. That's not the same guy that touched Jose's sister though. He was just saying that dude, whoever the dude that touched the sister is over there on the special unit. The special unit is guys that checked in and can't live on the cop. They can't live out there in general population. These type of dudes, either they ex gang members and they had to check in or they was going to get that knife pushed in them or whatever type of violence that they gang wanted to um, put on them. You got guys in there that's known rats in there that's that's telling inside of the jail that was telling on people and now they locked up. Um, all type of mayhem like that, right? You got cats in there that, um, that play for the other side, meaning that they a part of the LGBTQ community and you know that's that's what it was really originally for is for the LGBTQ community the the gay guys they had their own special housing unit but it was just so much craziness going on and it was against the law like you can only hold somebody in a hole for a certain amount of time i think um if you got over a year in the hole, then they ship you off the compound to to a higher um to a higher custody. But they had a special unit also that originally, like I said, was made for the homosexuals. But then they kind of like start putting other people over there. But hey, that's why they call it the special unit. It'd be times that we'd be out there on the yard, and some of these cats be all banging on the glass calling us names and all type of stuff, talking about what they'd do if they got on the yard. But it's like, come on, man. Y'all got to stop playing these games. Y'all ain't going to do nothing. Well, Y'all would have been out here with the rest of us. But anyway, so the reason why I bring this story up is because it's guys that, it's, it's guys that's out here in the real world that get released from prison. Then you get it where, you said, what prison were you in? I'm going to give you one prison. I was in Pontiac Correctional Facility in Illinois. Right? I was locked up in Illinois. I did a stint there before in Pontiac, right, Corrections in Illinois. So, actually, this is this is what happened in, in Illinois. Right? Pontiac Corrections in Illinois. Right? So... You got it where, what's up, Tymo? What's up, Lisa Love? I see you. What's up, Tiff Lane? Mickey Scorpio, I find, you finally made it here. I see you. So, you get it where you got you got um, these dudes and all they do. Like, y'all got to be careful, man. If, if you women out there that's doing this um talking to men that's locked up i ain't saying all men that's locked up is is creeps i'm not saying that but i know they be doing something like um um what is it jpay uh it's something um where pen paling yeah pen paling make sure you do re y'all research on these dudes that y'all be talking to because some of these dudes might be just trying to get with you they some of these dudes might try to get with you just to get next to your kid, just to get next to your teenage daughter. Why you think they interested in you? They probably interested at your teenage daughter. So I'm just trying to put that out there. If y'all women out there, like I said, I know sometimes y'all get lonely, that bed get lonely, or whatever the case may be. But y'all got to start doing y'all research. Jamar Sanders, thank you for that. You said you live by Pontiac, Illinois? Yeah, I was locked up there. So you got it where um y'all you women gotta do y'all research, man. You got to. Um a lot of guys again is not creeps, but there are guys up in there, man. These dudes can tell y'all uh, something crazy. Tell y'all the most um outrageous, outlandish stories, how they innocent and it was mistaken identity 
or whatever crap. Listen, it's a thing that's called Freedom of Information Act. You women need to go to these courts, go to the courthouse, um, talk to the county clerks or whoever y'all are trying to get involved with before they get out and see what they really in there for. Right? Yeah, Diane, $20 background. You, you women got to really check these dudes out, man. Check them out. Um... Because you might be inviting Freddy Cougar or Jason or Micah Myers or the guy that drive the ice cream truck. And I ain't talking about, shout out to everybody that drive the ice cream truck. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Uncle Charlies and the Uncle Johns, right? And we're not, listen, we ain't, and I'm not saying that all Uncle Charlies and Uncle Johns is like that, all right? But y'all know what I'm talking about, right? So, you get it where... Um, this cat, man, I, I, y'all know when y'all don't see somebody and then when you have an interaction with that person, do you start seeing this person everywhere? Well, uh, this was one of them situations where I would see dude all the time and he just barking on dudes. And then I remember like, hold on, this, that dude that was on the special unit, this, the dude that got, this, the dude that got raided off the yard, right? Dude, I remember I was thinking about it, and, and Jose was telling me one night in the cell, like, yeah, man, that that, that big, light-skinned dude, man, he ain't about nothing, man. That dude, a child molester, right? Yeah, dude ain't nothing but a child molester. He be over there just like he the big dog, but when he was over here, he was running from dudes. He was getting extorted by dudes. Every time he got his commissary from the stoic, Dudes will run down on him, take his bags, beat him up. Like, man, dude bid for nothing. So the pressure got to him, and I guess he tried to play that hard role for too long. See, what happened was he was running around, throwing his sides around. He was just barking on dudes because he was a real big dude. And he, everybody knew what he was in there for, but a lot of, got, a lot of dudes wasn't really on that because a lot of cats just wanted to go home. So they really weren't pushing that line like that up in there. Um, most most of the guys either had five to six years to go, five or six years under to go. So didn't really nobody want to, you know, push that blade and get sent 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 upstate or sent somewhere crazy on a maximum lockdown place. So a lot of these dudes, so a lot of these dudes didn't really want that issue. Michael Riley, thank you for that. I hear you. Um, so anyway, it got to a point where he was just throwing his weight down out there in the free world. What's up, LOLM? He was throwing his weight around in the free world out there in the population till some real dudes got on his head and, and figured out like, oh, this dude is a, this dude is a violator. He a violator of children. Oh, he gots to go. Right. So that's when I told y'all the extortion game started coming. And um, the beat up game, because before that he was just barking on dudes and intimidating dudes with his sides. When I got there, um, when I got there, he already was in the special unit about two weeks, two weeks before I got there. So I didn't witness none of this. This is what I heard. Um, but when I did recognize when I got in there, I seen him in there just barking on other cats in the special unit. So now that takes me out in real life, y'all. When I was living in Pontiac, Michigan, and my homeboy called me and was like, yo, it's this dude over here, blah, 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 come around the corner with the you-know-what. And I came over there, and I said, man, this dude look familiar. And there it go. That was him. Um, now let's get to what this life is really all about. So I got a lot of emails of people asking me, to talk about do do teenagers really get sent to adult prisons? Yeah, they do. Some states got different laws that um you stay in um a juvenile detention center till you turn eighteen or twenty one. But in some states, yeah, you can go up, you can go that way at the age of sixteen, maybe even fourteen. The youngest kid that I seen coming there was sixteen years old. Um. There was this white guy, white young dude. Either he was 16 or 17. I remember um, him coming in there. And I told y'all this story before about 
about this bandit. About this bandit up on the gate. Every Tuesday, y'all, we had a new shipment of new inmates. And these dudes that like to, you know, like dudes would be right there on the gate picking and choosing. Picking and choosing what they wanted, right? Um, I done seen things, I, I done seen things, y'all, that is crazy. And this is what prompted me to make this video. It's a video that I'm dropping, y'all, this Thursday. And um, it's... The reason why I made this video because I thought about this, this this young white kid. Um, there's parents out here, specifically mothers and grandmothers out there, that's raising boys, that's raising teenagers, and these teenagers are being really disrespectful to um, their guardian, to the point where they calling them out their names. Um, putting hands on these women, just being just so disrespectful. And they don't realize that once you, the justice system don't care. If you take somebody's life, if you take somebody's life, especially a woman, and dudes find out that you went there for taking your mama or your grandmama life, Baby God is thank you. Thank you for that. When 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 dudes find out what you went there for and you took um a woman life and they mama or they grandma recently passed, it's a bad day. It's a bad day. It's a bad day. So y'all make sure y'all watch that story that I dropped. Um, this coming Thursday, cause it, it's going. I'm gonna explain that to y'all in detail, so I ain't gonna spoil it right now. Y'all gonna have to watch that video. Um, but I will give y'all a story, and I hate to give y'all the um turned out stories. I I hate to give them to y'all, but yo, we gotta spread the awareness, man. We we got to cause, cause this really happens. It really happens. I'm gonna share y'all. I'm gonna share with y'all another turned out story right now, live and direct. If if y'all got any teenagers in the house right now, I'm talking to the audience. If y'all got any teenagers in the house, go get your teenager and tell them pull up a chair and come listen to old Dante right quick. Cause I need to break this. I, I need to break this out. I need for the youngsters to hear this, because. The reality is this, and I'm not making an excuse for the youth at all, but a lot of these guys that's growing up, they never been into a fist fight a day in their life. They never had physical altercations, right? Another live to do. You record this. I'm confused. Listen, y'all, I'm live. Vladimir, Karen, I'm live. This is not no pre-record and I'm live. All right. It's 8.23 p.m. Eastern time. I'm live. This is not a pre-record. Got it? So I need everybody to go get your teenager and tell them to pull up a chair. Tell them to pull up a chair. Now, when you decide to load up that gun and every bullet that's inside of that clip is for another child that look just like you, your so-called opposition, your op, your enemy. Understand this. You might get away with a couple of, a, a couple of bodies, maybe just a couple. Some of your homeboys, well, what you think is your homeboys, Gang, gang, right? Gang, gang. We we a gang. We got each other back. They'll go out there and ride with you, right? They'll lie with you. They'll steal with you. But when the police come banging on the door looking for you and that real pressure come, oh, they're they going to tell. 
they going to get that name up. They going to get that name up. And I'm going to tell you what else going to happen. When you in, when you in that interrogation room and them cops got you freezing in there and you got your, you in there like this, this how they be in there. This how they treat y'all, right? You going to be in that cold interrogation room. It's a, it's a tactic. You going to be in there like this. In that chair, like this, cold, cold like this. And they gonna play on your mental state. You ain't never been, you ain't never been into these situations before. So you sitting there, they done left you in here for two hours. They've been grilling you all day, all day. Then they left you in there for two hours. Now you cold. You go in there, you gonna be ready to talk. Right? You're gonna be ready to talk. You definitely gonna be ready to talk. I guarantee you. Right? Hold on, y'all. We ain't finna play this game. Y'all already know where I'm about to go. Before I, before I even start, before I even start this story, come on, y'all. Let's stop playing these games. We got 102 people in the building over here, and it's only half the likes. Y'all better be lucky. I can't see how many people over here. I see it's 187 people, but I don't know how many people hit the like button. Let me find out. But the show must go on. And, and let me tell y'all something. I don't tell y'all to hit the like button just off the sake of hitting the like button. I tell y'all to hit the like button because YouTube is not pushing my videos. They not pushing my videos. So it's up to y'all to hit the like button. So the algorithm will say, yo, they watching the videos. People watching the video. So let's push the video out, y'all. Come on, man. Now hitting the like button don't cost you nothing. So just hit the like button. But let me tell y'all something too. I do understand. I get y'all messages. I read y'all comments. I'm sorry I can't respond to every comment. But listen, I know some people can't hit the like button because they watching it off the TV. Cool. I get that. But for everybody else, y'all better hit that like button. Now let's get let's get back to it. So you get it where. You get it where, um, you get it where you in that interrogation room and they telling you like, yo, BG, he told us everything. BG, matter of fact, listen to this. Hit the recording. You hear BG talk about, yeah, man, I never liked Dante anyway. Yeah, he was effing my girl. And he thought I didn't know. I'm glad that got locked up. Then they hurry up and end the recording. Now you sitting there like, dang. So this how BG feel about me? This how BG feel about me? Hey, okay, officer, look. Now the only thing that's going on in his head, right, is, man, he probably out there trying to F my girl. He trying to F my girl. So you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and give him up. Playing these military mind games. A lot of these dudes ain't built for that. They're not built for the streets. They don't know about getting getting put under that pressure. Nine times out of ten, a lot of these dudes just need to keep their mouth closed. Just keep your mouth closed. I don't want to talk, officer. Take me to my cell. But it is what it is. So... You get these young cats, six, 16, 17 years old, ain't never been in a street fight a day in their life. When they get locked up in the county, because the county is way worse than prison. I'm sorry, y'all. I would rather do a month in prison than a week in the county, period. I'd rather do a month in prison, walk in that yard, than a week in the county. You get it where you got the COs. This for the youngsters. Y'all youngsters, listen up. You got the COs that be power tripping. They be power tripping. Everybody that been locked up before, y'all know what I mean. They treat you like you the scum of the earth. You could be in there on a parking ticket. You could be in there for child support. 
and they treat you like you just the most, like you done punched their grandma in the face and put her in cardiac arrest. This is how these CEOs are trained. This is how these CEOs treat you, right? Now you, now you, you never listen to your mama. You, you, you don't listen to your grandma. So now you got a problem with authority. You got a problem with people telling you what to do. And let me tell y'all something, right? Oh, I'll just go in there and say, oh, I'm, I'm going to hurt myself. I'm, you know what they're going to do? When you go in there talking about, oh, I'm going to hurt myself. I feel suicidal. You know what they're going to do? They're going to strip you butt booty naked, right? They're going to strip you butt booty naked. They're going to put you in the Bam Bam suit, right? It's this rubber suit. You got no clothes on, and they're going to throw you in a room where there's nothing in there. That's a cold floor. That's it. Yeah, that's it. So go in there if you want to play that crazy role if you, won't, if you want to. But let's get back to it. So now you're going up the road. Now you done got sentenced. You blew trial. You should have took that deal. You should have took that 10 years. You would have what, had to say, serve 85% of your time. You might even have day for day, right? I don't know what type of programs they got now. I don't know if you could do um, day for day, good time, 85%. I don't know. I ain't been locked up in so long. I don't know. But they have all type of programs. But you blew trial. You should have took that 10 years. Now you got to do 20. Right? So now you you get off that bus, that long bus ride. You don't know nobody on that bus. And you're looking around, and every dude on that bus look like they got a chip on their shoulder. Matter of fact, you look. You look back there, right? You look back there. And he said, dude, big dude, big black. Ball head dude, right? He licking his lips when he when he catch you looking at him. He like, and you, 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 you insecure in yourself because it's real. You so insecure in yourself because now you thinking like, man, I don't think I can beat this dude. I mean, I hear the stories. Could this be the guy that busts me upside the head? And violate me? Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, oh, I, oh, 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 I remember Dante said, um, when I get in my cell, um, if, if, if the bunks got springs, get a spring and sharpen it down. Maybe that's what I'll do. Yeah, that's what I do. I'll, I'll, I'll bust out a spring and sharpen it down. And then if somebody come after me, then I'm going to push that sword of justice aside of them. Well, we'll get there. Hold on, y'all. We'll get there. So then you get to you get to the spot. You pull up. Then one of the guards might be the captain, might be the major. Roll up on you. Everybody, get the fuck off the bus. Get the fuck off the bus. Get the fuck off the bus now. He on one. The captain on one. Everybody line up, right? Everybody shackled together. Y'all know that walk. Everybody that been locked up, y'all know you 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 shackled at your feet. You shackle um or, or across your waist to the next man and your handcuff. Y'all making that that little that little two step that little two step walk. Yeah, we call it the two step the two step shuffle, right? So y'all working y'all way and then y'all. Get up in there, right? Then everybody lined up against the wall. Everybody lined up against the wall. Then y'all get unhandcuffed down the line. Everybody turn around, face the wall. Everybody turn around, face the wall. Then you get the guard to come down, unshackling all your um your shackles off your body, right? Then they tell now 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 that everybody is like that. Now everybody put your hands against the wall. Everybody put your hands against the wall. Right? Now everybody take off your clothes. Now that means get butt booty naked. Right? 
Get Adam and Eve naked. Take them drawers off too. I'm not. What are you doing? Oh, I didn't know. Take them drawers off. Everybody, take all clothes is off. Mandatory. So now you went in line with 10, 15 other men with your manhood exposed, ass out, penises out, right? You got a man to the left and you got a man to the right. And then you got these CEOs, these guards. And guess what, y'all? Sometimes there's women in there watching too. Sometimes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I, I got rights. I got rights. Where at? Where at? What rights do you got? I don't want no woman looking at me. I, I got uh, uh, shame. Uh, shame. Nah. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. Sometimes there's female CEOs in there too watching you too. Yeah. So then you get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you get it. So now you're naked. Now you got to turn around. Now you got to turn around, turn around and face the CEOs. And they walking by. Open your mouth. All right? Open your mouth. Stick your tongue out. Lift your tongue out. Lift it around. They making sure you ain't smuggling no concert band. And then here's the favorite part, y'all. And guess what? Some of these CEOs, right? Some of these male CEOs is homosexuals. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them enjoy telling you to turn around. Bend over, squat, spread them, and cough. Yeah. Bend over, spread them, squat, and cough. Why they got that flashlight looking up your rectum. I told y'all. I told y'all yesterday, it's about to get real raw and rugged. It's about to get real crazy and hostile out here. So I hope the teenagers are still here listening. Because this is what you got to look forward to. And we haven't even began yet. Oh, no. I'm talking, I'm talking in the eyes of a 16, 17 year old. Yeah. So pay attention, teenagers. The teenager that dis keep disrespecting grandma. Grandma really don't have to take care of you. Grandma can put you out on the streets. But grandma just keep on praying to Jesus. Please watch out for him. I know he a good boy. He a good boy, Lord. Just please watch over him, Lord, please. Nah, he ain't no good boy. He a demon. He on that demon time. He got out. All he doing on Instagram is showing that you know what? Talking about right? To his to, to his ops, right? Scarlet B. Hangers, B. Ennis. Thank you for that. That's right. Y'all make sure that make sure y'all hit that like button. He like, that's all he doing is on Instagram. But grandma, oh Jesus, he's such a uh, at the court date. At the court date. 20 years. Boom. The judge gave him 20 years. Oh, oh my grandbaby. Please, he was such a good kid. He was a good kid. Oh, he was a good queen. Judge. Judge, please don't do my grandbaby like that. <laughs> grandbaby, I love you. I ain't never gonna stop missing you. Come on, man. Y'all stop playing these games and hit that like button. Right? So then you got, but uh, let's get back to it. And, and, and don't worry, y'all. Don't worry. Grandma going to send that Social Security check. Yeah, she she going she gonna to make sure that she keep a little money on the phone. She Grandma only can, here you go, here you go. I, I, I'm going to get to it, y'all. I'm sorry. I got sidetracked. I got y'all. My fault, y'all. I got you. So now you got it where it's a full shakedown. And now after you got humiliated, now they go throw that powder on you. Yeah, they, they throw this, um, I believe it's for people that got lice, lice or something like that. The unlicensed counselor, thank you for that from Detroit. The, the great 313, thank you for that. They throw like this uh, powder on you all over your body, and I believe it's to kill lice and some other type of stuff. So you get this stuff off, and then they uh, move you along like cattle. And you get up in the shower, right? Then they give you your property. You talk to, um, this is the intake, y'all. You, you, you're talking uh, to a counselor. You you go get into this hall that they take. They come down there. They give you this thick piece of bologna, this real thick piece of bologna or whatever mystery meat they give you on a piece of bread. 
and they give you um, a milk cart, and sometimes the milk is expired. So, hey, if you don't like the food, if you don't like the menu, stop committing crimes and stop coming here. This is not the comfort zone. This ain't the Holiday Inn. This ain't the Motel 6. This ain't the Motel 6, right? You don't, this ain't Burger King. You do not have it your way. So, now let's fast forward till you get to that sale, right? Now you in the sale. Now you in the sale with Big Bojack. Oh, don't worry, y'all. Bojack isn't a homosexual. Nuh-uh. But Bojack don't got no family out there on the outside, right? Bojack don't got no support at all. But you know who, um, how Bojack programmed while locked up? He into the extortion game. So here you go, sweet old 16, 17-year-old, right? Ain't nothing but 140 pounds soaking weight, right? Ain't nothing but 140 pounds soaking wet. And Big Bojack do bench press 450, right? Come on, man. What are you going to do when you roll up in there and you put your property on the top bunk. And when the guard leave, Bojack hop up off the bed. And he take up half of the, half of the sale. And he just start going through your stuff. And you like, man, what you doing? And he grabs you like, man, watch out. He mush you like, man, watch out. Man, watch out. Right? And you like, man, bro, chill, chill. He like, man, shut up. Man, he swatting you off like this. Man, watch out. Watch out. Well, he just going through all your property, taking what he want, right? He see you got some cookies up there, a pack of cookies, them lemon cookies, y'all. Y'all know the uh, the vanilla um the, the vanilla wafer, and they got the uh, lemon cream filling in the middle. He took your pack of cookies right there. And my man, watch out. Man, watch out. And went back on his bed and laid down. And you standing there by the cell like, Man, man, this some bull, man. This some bull. But you ain't really said nothing. And he 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 gets up, he laying back up while he eat your cookies, right? Here you go, y'all. Here you go. Here you go. He eat your cookies. He palming like four of your cookies. And he like. Yeah. Hey, listen. This is the rules. Right? This is the this is the rules, young blood. When you pee, right, when you take your little thing out, make sure you sit down. Make sure you sit down, because if any piss get on me, I'm going to bust your ass. You hear me? Another thing, if you snore, look, my nigga, if you snore, you're going to have to put a sock in your mouth. You heard? Second thing, since we're going to be in here together, I'm going to let you know right now. Don't have nobody. Hold up. While he eating his cookies. Don't have nobody in this cell. You hear me? I'm going to tell you this one time. I don't like to repeat myself. So if I tell you to do something, that's what you do. Yeah. Yeah. If I tell you to do something, I only tell you one time, and that's it. If I got to repeat myself, I'm going to put hands on you, all right? And young blood, let me know. You better, you don't ever, when you up there sleep, and I'm sleep, don't jump off that bump. Let me know when you about to get up, because I might kill you. I might kill you. So you better let me know what's up. You heard? So dude just standing there like, man, this can't be my life. This can't be my life. I can't do this. Baby God, let's thank you for that. I can't do this. Right? So the cell door popped. And he walked out of there. And he looked around. The pot, right? Dude's looking at him, right? Dude's looking at him. He looking at them. 
Everybody back to doing what they doing. So he instantly go downstairs. He get on the phone. Mama, he he hug him. Grammy, Grandma, Grandma, you gotta get me out of here, Grandma. Oh baby, baby, are you all right in there? No, Grandma. Now he looking around, making sure ain't nobody really hearing him. He, he whispering now. He like, Grandma, please, please, Grandma. I don't want to be in here, man. I ain't gonna make it in here, Grandma. I don't know if I can do this, Grandma. I, 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 I can't do it, Grandma. I can't do it. I'm gonna kill myself, Grandma. Oh baby, grandson, don't do it. Grandson, I love you, grandson. You have you have one minute remaining. Oh, grandma, grandma, grandma. Hey, could, could you could you make sure you? Oh, hold on, I'm I'm hyperventilating. Hold on, I gotta catch my breath. Click. No, right. Hello, grandma, grandma. Oh man. And hang up the phone, wipe his tears, and walk off. And he go back up the stairs. Right. Get back in the cell. Big Bo Jack, he coming out the cell. He like, yeah, you heard what I said. You, you heard what I said. Don't, don't have nobody up in this cell, and don't touch my shit. Don't ever touch my shit. And he walks out. Dude, get in there. He 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 peeping his he peeping the cell out. He jump on top of the top bunk, and he get to crying. I'm going to tell y'all right now, on my first two nights of being locked out, Dante cried in the middle of the night, too. Oh, yeah, Dante cried in the middle of the night, too. Why? The reason why I cried because I just had a child. My older son, I just had a kid. And I was looking at 10 years, y'all. So, in reality, in reality, my newborn baby, right, would have been 10 years old. 10 years old. Eight years away from being a man. Right? And all I was thinking about, like, damn, I'm fucked up. Damn. Right? Let me tell y'all something. I don't, how, I don't care how big you are, because even the gangsters cry. Even the hard hitters cry. Oh, yeah. They do. Don't let them fool y'all. Don't let them fool you. Uh-uh. Even the gangsters cry. Even the ones that's pushing that sword of justice. Oh, they cry too. Don't believe that. So, he up there crying. He crying. He get a knock at the door. Hello? Uh, uh, yeah, 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 what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's a dude. He like, yo, y'all right? He like, yeah, 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 I'm straight. He like, man, what you come on out of here, man? Come out here. Come out here. He like, yeah, yeah, I I'll be out there in a minute. He like, yeah, all right, come on. Come on out here. So he hop out the bed. And it's about four dudes standing right here to his left. And three dudes standing right here to his right. And the dude that came to the cell was like, yo, come outside. He's standing there with his arms crossed like this. He like, hey, where your paperwork at? And he like, um, it, it, it's in there. He like, go get that. Go get that. Go get that. And he like, why y'all want to see? He like, yo, yo, go get that. So he go back to the cell. Right? And all he thinking in his head, why do they want to see my paperwork? Why do they want to see my paperwork? Right? As he coming back out with his paperwork, Big Bojack come busting through. Man, y'all watch out. Man, watch out. They all bagging up because they know Bojack ain't playing no games. Bojack could throw somebody over that tear and put them and put and activate hands and feet. Right? So they bagging up. They, they, they like, he, he like, he's like, what's this all about? Why y'all, why y'all little niggas around my cell? Y'all don't want to paint them top of gate. Why y'all niggas around my cell? They like, no, I ain't like that, Bo Jack. We just checking in. We, we ain't even know this. Oh, this your cell, Bo Jack? Hey, I'm going to tell y'all right now. 
Get away from my cell before I kill one of you little niggas. Get away from my cell before I kill one of you little niggas. And they all bag it back like, we, 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 we good, we, we ain't know. We ain't go. Get up. Hey, stop talking. Stop talking and get away from my cell before I kill one of you little niggas. Right? So they bagging off. And he 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 stopped, he stopped young boy from coming out the cell. He like, yo, 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 chill, what, what's up? He like, man, they want me. He, he, he said, man, go in the cell. Get back in the cell, man. L let me holler at you, man. Let me holler at you. So he get him back in the cell. He like, let me tell you something, man. Don't ever, didn't I tell you don't have nobody up in this cell? When I say don't have nobody, when I simply smack him, bam. When I tell you not to have nobody in the cell, that's what I meant. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. I was the day I have him in the cell. Look, I don't care. When they came to this cell, you should have took off on them. It's either, either, either you catch it by them or you catch it by me. Which one do you want? Do you want it by them or do you want it with me? Because I told you I'm not for no games. Matter of fact, Matter of fact, come here, come here, come here. Take a seat. Let me tell you something. Who, who, what you in here for? And if you lie to me, I'm going to kill you. If you lie to me, I'm going to kill you. Man, I, man, I, I man, I, I killed somebody. Who you kill? Man, I, I got into a, Oh, oh, I can't tell y'all that. Th that's a part of the story that, that's coming out Thursday. So I, I'm not going to reveal that part, y'all. I'm not going to reveal that part. So he said what he said. And he like, well, listen, I don't give a f what you did to get in here. As long as you ain't violate no child or violate a woman, I don't care what you did. But check this out. I got this phone, right? I need for you to call your people. Yeah, call your people. And I'm going to need for you, yo, Terry w, Terry w, thank you for that. I need for you to call your people and tell them that you need to send some money in. Right? You got to sell. Yeah, yeah, here, here, here. Here's the phone right here, man. Yeah, call your people. What, what you want me to tell them? Just tell them send some money to this cash app right here. I don't think my grandma got no cash app. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, well, check this out. Who, who else you know out there? You got a little girlfriend out there? You, you got an auntie, your uncle? Like, who you out there that, that'll hold you down? Oh, uh, I, I got a couple. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let, let me see. Let, let me think. Hold on. Let, let, let me get my numbers. Let me get my numbers. So then he go in his bag, right? Then some other dude come to the cell like, hey, yo, Bojack, can I? Hey, hold on, man. Hey, yo, chill. Yo, yo, chill out, yo. Chill out. I'm talking to little homie right now. Yo, I I I deal with you in a minute. Chill, man. Watch out. I I I Bojack. I holla at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me. Uh, okay. Let, matter, matter of fact, give give me that list. Who is this? Who who that person? Oh, that's my cousin. Damn it. Oh, okay. Who who this right here? Oh yeah. He 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 might got it. He, you know he he be moving things in the street. All right, call. Get him on the phone right quick. All right, all right. I'm finna call. Hey, 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 big bro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, could you, um, hey, do you think you can look out for me right quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, um, could you send some money to this cash app? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, well, um, here's the thing. Um, um, uh, uh, wait, wait, hold, hold on. He, he said, let me, so then Bojack snatched the phone. Hey, 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 listen up. Check this out, man. If you don't want your love from hurt up in here, yeah, this this Bojack. If you don't want your love on heard up in here, I need for you to send some bread to this to this cash app right now. I mean, right now. If you don't if you don't want your love one to get get the, get his head split, his split wig, the split up in here. I'm telling you right now, send this bread to this cash app. All right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He put he put. The, Cash app in the message. He sent it over. You got that? You got it? Yeah. Send the hundred. Yeah, send the hundred. All right. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. All right. Hang up the phone. Now get on the phone and call that person. And I'm telling you, hey, listen, I'm going to protect you in here. Don't think I'm in here just that's gonna be hurting you. I ain't no rapist. I ain't I don't play little I don't play them type of little games like that. But since you gonna be in my cell, you gonna know how this gonna be. 
If I'm going to be in here protecting you, this how we going to get out up in here. This is what it is. You going to pay me to keep these niggas about your ass. And that's just what it is. Right? Because number one, ain't nobody coming up in this cell. That's number one. If you break any type of drama of foolishness in here, I'm going to take care of them, and then I'm going to take care of you. And if you try to take, and let me tell you something. Then he get up close to him. He get up close to him. He like, yo, let me tell you something. Tell the police if you want to. Tell the police that I got this phone if you want to. I promise to God. I promise. You, I'm, I'm telling you. You got a life sentence. I will find you. I got dudes all over, all over the state, everywhere. Tell on me if you want to. You can't run. Try to go. I got guards on my payroll. Yeah, I got guards. He capping y'all. He ain't got no guards on his pay y'all payroll. Dude don't know no better. So this is a scare tactic. He like, yeah, I got guards. I got guards on payroll. So you better not tell nobody. Yeah. You better not tell nobody. I get up on that phone. So he get he get he make about four twenty four hundred fifty dollars that day. I'm gonna tell y'all something. Extortion is real. It comes in many forms. It, it comes in many forms. And I'm gonna be real with y'all. Um, do. Dude never been in prison before. Dude couldn't fight a lick. Dude had no size, no weight. And in fact, to be real with y'all, even if he did, got a hold of a sword of justice, right? If if Bojack and him were standing toe to toe, Bojack would have disarmed him and used the sword of justice on him. The only way you can get a dude like Bojack, you got to get him while he's asleep. Get him while he sleep. Get him while he dozed off. Or you might have to catch him, but it's one of them things where if you crash out and take this man life, well, well, you already got a life sentence, so I guess it really don't matter. It really don't matter. I mean, they can only keep you in a hole for a certain amount of time or just send you to a maximum. But, I mean, you just gotta, you just gotta be able to Figure out what you are willing to deal with and what you won't deal with, right? So you can catch him while he sleep and put that sword of justice through his neck or catch him out on the yard or in the pot and when his back turned and he off guard, get him in the neck. But I'm going to tell you all something else. This is a sidebar. Not every young kid, right, that get locked up, get extorted. I remember this dude named TJ, this 19-year-old dude from Chicago. There was a guy that was, he was an extortionist. Uh, TJ wasn't go, going for it. And I'm, a, I'm just going to cut out the whole story, and I'm going to tell y'all the end result. So why the extortionist was laying down sleep like a baby, because he felt like he put the fear of God and TJ while he laying like this, um, let me show y'all something. He got a pencil, right? He got a pencil, got a pencil, right? And when dude was asleep, he said, bah! Dude didn't even wake up. He didn't even wake up. He got a pencil, a number two pencil at that, the yellow joint. He got that pencil, put it right there in his ear, and said, oh, you kick, bam. Dude didn't even wake up. Pulled the pencil out, and hey, hey. I don't know if the police find out what happened. I don't know. I wasn't even on that side of the compound when that happened. But I was there when it happened. But I wasn't there. I was on a whole different side of the prison. But we heard about it. I tell you all the time. In prison, men gossip. Men are the biggest gossipers. In the, they say women are gossipers. No, men 
are gossipers. Oh, they gossip like, hey, this Thursday, y'all, y'all stay tuned. I'm dropping a crazy video, and this video is going to be crazy. Um, uh, this it, it piggybacks off this story that I'm telling y'all right now about Bojack. It piggyback it it piggybacks off of that. Um, hold on, y'all. I see the people was asking me to put the cash app up. Hold on, we about to put it up right now. Give me a hot second, y'all. Oh yeah, listen, y'all. Um. I will be doing, um, I will be doing the podcast real soon, all right? The podcast will be up and running real soon. Matter of fact, the first episode is getting dropped this Sunday at 5 p.m. This Sunday at 5 p.m., I'm dropping the first episode. All right. Um, with that, also, we're dropping the first episode. Give me one hot second, y'all. One hot second. One hot second. When I drop the first episode of the podcast coming out um, this Sunday at 5 p.m., y'all make sure y'all subscribe to, um, I got a, it's called The Nobodies. It's T H E N O B O D. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put the link in the description. I'm gonna put the link in the description in a hot second, y'all. Just give me a give me a second, right quick. Give me a second. I'm gonna put the link in the description for y'all in a minute. But yeah, the first episode will be will be coming out um Sunday. Yeah, hold on. I'm just putting the cash app over here too, right quick, because I got a couple people asking. And yes, that is the Dante show with um, three W's. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna put the link in this in the description, right quick, y'all. Just give me a hot second. I'm gonna put it in there, and then we gonna get back to this prison story. All right, hold on, here we go. I'm just setting it up right quick, hold on. Let's see. It should be pent up at the top. Hold on. And yes, that is three W's. All right, y'all, I'm about to, um, give me one hot second. There you go. Now, this is the link, y'all, to, um, the podcast. I got two videos put up there right now, two of my skits that I did. Only, I got that up there just so that, um, just so that we can have some traction over there. So just give me a second. I'm getting into the account right now. I'm about to hold on, y'all. I'm about to put the link up. Where is that? Yeah, we got two videos already up there. It's um where you at? Okay, there it go. Alright, there it go. All right. All right, I'm about to put it up, y'all, right now. Yep, so make sure y'all subscribe. We got, we already got 2,900 people over there already that subscribed. So let's get them numbers back. Let's get the numbers up over there. The first episode dropping this Sunday at 5 o'clock. All right, here we go. I don't know how many likes we got yet. 
I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna have y'all do some call-ins too. Ronnie Slaughter, thank you for that. Hold on. Let me put this up. Let me put this up right quick. And we are gonna do some call-ins too. Lador, what's up? We are gonna do some call-ins. So, finna do some call-ins. He don't never shout me out. What's that? Omari and Gina family. What's up? That's your shout out right there. Chris Marsh, straight from Canada, y'all. All right, y'all. I'm about to put the link up right now. There go the link, y'all, right there. The link is right there, y'all. See it? I'm going to post it up again. Yep, make sure y'all I'm flooding the link right now. Go over there, y'all subscribe. And um Okay. Now lockdown 88. I'm about to put it up um for y'all too. Just hold on one second. I'm about to put it up. Make sure y'all go over there and subscribe. Justin Martinez, what's up? All right, y'all. Here it go. Wait, wait. There it go. All right. All right, here it go. Here we go. I'm about to put the link up right now for the... Um, let's go. Here it go, y'all. That This right here is the link to the podcast right here. Make sure y'all go over there and subscribe. Yep, it's already two videos over there. I got um two skits over there. It's two skits over there already. And um Yeah. Okay, y'all. I got a pent up at the top. So y'all make sure y'all go over there and subscribe over there. Cause yo, these lives going these um podcasts is gonna be crazy. But yeah, let's get back to it, y'all. Um Yeah, prison is hell. Prison is real hell. Um prison is not fun. Don't let these people get out here and tell you all these fantasy stories about how prison was a good time and prison was was everything but what is not. When people go to prison, you get depressed. You get lonely. Um, you can't be around people that you love. You 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 always got somebody. Somebody watching you. Somebody telling you what to do. You got some of these CEOs, and not all CEOs are bastards. Not all CEOs are evil. But the mass majority of them have no compassion. Right? What's, what's up, Jazzy Jeff? What's up? Most of these dudes ain't got no compassion at all. Um, you can lose your life. You could, you could be looking at a guy. Matter of fact, you don't even have to look at the guy. You could be looking past the guy and he think that he looking at you. Right? And well, it is what it is. We're about to do call-ins, y'all. Oh, man, the phone about to die. I'm sorry, y'all. I guess we can't do no call-ins because the phone is about to die. But, yeah, y'all make sure y'all uh, subscribe to that podcast, though, because um, if y'all think the lives be something or the podcast going to be something else, um, 
we're not just going to talk about prison stories and stuff like that. Y'all going to get some prison stories over there too, but we're going to talk about everything. Because I noticed that my audience, y'all want to talk about a lot of stuff. Yo, we're going to be talking about the supernatural. We're going to be talking about aliens. We're going to be talking about um, vampires, how to survive a zombie apocalypse. Um, we're going to be talking about a lot of stuff. So all my weirdos out there, y'all make sure y'all get over there and y'all subscribe. What's up, Pinky? I see you. All my weirdos out there that's into the supernatural, that's into vampires, leprechauns, aliens, whatever y'all want to talk about. We're going to be sharing supernatural stories. We're going to be talking to sharing ghost stories. We're going to be talking about Project Blue Beam. We're going to be talking about CERN. We're going to be talking about all type of stuff. Right? So, y'all make sure y'all get over there. Is the podcast available on Apple? No. It's just on YouTube. It's free. It's free. I put the link up already. The link is already up in the description. Right? After this live end, I'm going to put it in the description again. Right? Just go over there and subscribe. It's free. It's already up there gonna be talking about a whole lot right i hear you um destined for greatness and i'm going live tomorrow of course of course i will be going live tomorrow too eight o'clock eight p.m standard Eastern time make sure y'all go over there and subscribe to my podcast it's called the nobodies it's called the nobodies I got two videos up there already, okay? It's me acting. So, don't get it twisted. It's called The Nobodies. And with that, y'all, I'm about to roll out. Amazon got a free place to do podcasts for your information. Uh, I'm going to check that out. I, I'm going to check that out. Um, with that, y'all, I'll see y'all tomorrow at 8 o'clock. I dropped a video, a new video today. Y'all make sure y'all check that out. And with that, y'all be safe. And I am out. Well, let me shout y'all out. Hold on, hold on. Don't nobody leave yet. Let me, don't nobody leave yet. Where y'all from so I can shout y'all out? Let me get that love back right quick. Let me, where y'all from so I can shout y'all out? Let's let's do that. It's roll call. Let's, let's, let's do that. All right, let's go. Okay, we got, yeah, Eastern Time. We got Terry W., y'all, from North Carolina. We got Sid Pittick, 111, from Long Beach, California. We got Rudolph, y'all, from North Carolina. We got Labina Dengel from Amityville. We got Otto Martinez, y'all, from Mississippi. Clifford McGado from Arkansas. Tony Texas from Houston. Who else we got here? We got Mickey Scorpio 313 from that great Detroit, y'all. Who else? We got Omari Elgina family, y'all, from Baltimore. We got Time. What's that? Time. Hold on. Tip Man Owanda Later. I don't know. I'm sorry. From North Carolina. We got 